Boom shakalaka! Where you there? Wag one. It's Catch Up Fridays. Hi guys, welcome back to another Catch Up Friday. It's Tico and Gabby. And yeah, we're happy that you're with us. The last yeah. video we talked a little bit about um, sex, how spicy. Oh my gosh, and Tika and his sex <laughs> positions. But I'm sure that's what you people showed up for. Anyway, <laughs> the feedback was lovely. Thank you thank for you guys. watching. Thank yes. you. And for those of you who have been subscribing to our channel, thank you so much. I'm feeding Kavika here. Yes, so find us on Instagram. We are um, at we are underscore the Baileys. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and... Yeah, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, we're talking about sex. Should you wait for marriage? And how did we do it? Should you? But before we get into it, we have two energetic boys. And so we have a segment called The, the Bailey, Bailey Bundle. Bundle. <laughs> um, let's see. What was yeah. your video today? Oh, Kavika is smiling. Uh, anyway. <laughs> we got the little baby here with us, just in yeah. case you didn't realize. Mm -hmm. But Kalino has been so... Um, I'd say he's a fast learner. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's kind of throwing me off a little bit is how he's able to climb this um, rope ladder. Oh, the one at the park? Yeah, there, oh, there's a park word. we take into every once in a while, um, or every week, I should say. And there's this rope ladder mm -hmm. that really he shouldn't be able to climb at this no, age. He's he not shouldn't. even two, and it's yeah. really for the older kids. But he's being so good at it. I know, his legs aren't even long enough. He uses his <laughs> knees to climb that thing. He's doing like a knee, then a step, then a knee, then a step. Then a... The boy is so nimble. It's oh true. My goodness. Yeah. Um, but it's, I think one of the things that throws me off is that it's so high. Mm -hmm. And then there's this huge slide at the top. Maybe we can add a video somewhere. Yeah, I think so that we can see what one. we're talking about. Yeah. But trust me, he's really good at learning stuff and... I'm just like, okay, don't be fearful, Dad. You know, let him go. Yeah. Go, bo, go, boy, go, I go. <laughs> Kids really take you out of your comfort zone. They do, they I do. I think they do. So we're learning yeah. a lot from Kalino. Mm -hmm. But that's it for the baby bundle. Uh, no, I think I want to share about Kavika. Oh, I, yeah. I think everybody should have a baby in their life that smiles like Kavika. Or uh, smiles at them like the way he smiles uh, at me. Yeah, he is so sweet. When we had him, I didn't think he was... Uh, Smiley, smiley like Kalina because <laughs> Kalina is bright eyed smiley you guys know that from the pictures mm -hmm. but Kavika is his features pull you in yes. more and his smile is different so yeah wow that's it for the Bailey bundle all right <laughs> so yeah this week should so, you wait should for you marriage wait? and how did we wait um I don't yeah. know I feel like nobody wants to wait nowadays nobody wants to wait and I guess it's just because you know, I think we have a little bit of issues with relationships. Mm -hmm. A lot of us seem to have grown up with parents that were divorced. Mm -hmm. And so now we're testing out marriage before mm -hmm. we jump into it. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually better for us. Oh, my hair. I don't know if that's actually better for us or mm -hmm. if it's worse. But, yeah, should we wait for marriage? I think you should wait for marriage. I think sex ties people together so deeply. Mm -hmm. Like, the connection is so deep. To pull apart from that when you break up with somebody, yeah, that's a bit. Is a holy to pull. I apart think so. From. That's a holy for drama and to I pull think, apart I from. Think, I think whether you like it or not, or whether you want to say it or not, there is a part of that person who is kind of left with you, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, that even though you break up, you still have this connection to that person. Yeah. So think about if you test out with five persons I know. and break up with five persons you're gonna have pieces of five different persons in your life exactly and then when you find the one person you bring right. all of that baggage into the marriage so and the, and think about it like five other persons got to enjoy mm -hmm. this person's gift before they mm -hmm. got it so it's like five of us opened your christmas gift <laughs> And we played with the toys, we, we put scratched on oh it, and then everything else. And then we right. wrapped it back and we gave it to somebody else. I don't think I want that gift. <laughs> yeah. And I, I should say too as well, for people who've probably done that path, yeah. that as a Christian, I do believe that there is redemption. Well, there, there is that sort of, you know, re-sanctification. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the deed is done. It's there not is. like you can get back there your virginity. Is. But there is that sort of, 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Forgiveness, repenting, coming back to a place of saying, I want to see what's left mm-hmm. for that person that I'm going to marry. But it's to come to that place of realizing that you want to get back to that place right. before you get married. Otherwise, right. you bring all of that baggage right. into the marriage. So we're not saying there's no hope for you if you've mm-hmm. you know, been with other persons before you get married. There's definitely hope. There's definitely um, a place for restoration. Mm-hmm. But you have to acknowledge there's a need for that and what you don't want to bring in the marriage with you. How did you wait for <clears throat> marriage? <clears throat> well, I think because you got married, I would though. I would say, um, yeah, I got married when I was what thirty, I think thirty thirty one, yeah, somewhere there. I think so. Um, I was privileged to choose to wait mm-hmm. because I have older brothers that I could learn from, mm-hmm. and so I think I was in a privileged position where I could see the mistakes that my brothers made mm-hmm. from the the relationships that they had. And how it affected their life, mm-hmm. their their kids, their spouse, you know, just just the 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 long term effect of that. And I also had other friends in that position, but I'd say mm-hmm. mainly my brothers. Mm-hmm. And um that really showed me what not to do. Right. Um so you so because of that example you mm-hmm. chose to be basically. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, mine is different. I don't think, which is so funny. I was saying this to somebody this week. I don't think I had like a desire, not that I didn't have a desire. I never thought about marriage or kids. It just wasn't something on my mind Mm -hmm. when I was younger. So I don't think it didn't preoccupy me as much, you know, because I started traveling right after high school. Um, so I think I was just really focused on seeing the world and exploring different things getting to know what i wanted in life which i recognize is a privilege mm-hmm. if i was so, would you say you were sheltered i would say i was sheltered yeah. i mean i grew up yeah. in a christian home i have three brothers i'm mm-hmm. the only girl i was sheltered yeah you know i didn't think that way when i was growing up but when you compare it to other people i was sheltered mm. yeah okay yeah but you know i was exposed to I was exposed to uncomfortable touches Mm. through different experiences of like molestation. And that Mm -hmm. definitely is something that I've seen the Lord heal in my life. Mm. I think prior to marriage, there was that worry of, oh, you might not be able to enjoy intimacy with a husband because you've had those experiences. Mm. Yeah. But I've really seen healing in my life because of that. So if there's anybody out there who's had those experiences as well, there is hope. Mm. You know, there's hope to not feel uncomfortable with somebody else and to be, to to feel safe and secure and vulnerable with somebody in the future. Yeah. Well, that's good. And I think um, just waiting has its payoffs. It does. It has its payoffs. And I did get a, I, would... I, I did get a purity ring. I was supposed yeah. to say that. Yeah, I did get a purity oh, yeah. ring. I remember you used to wear that. I did that and I said, ring. yeah, remember that one? With the, and it said like, today I promise, I don't know, to it's wait. Some, something about like, today I promised, you. not necessarily, yeah, something, <laughs> something like that. Like that yeah. But yeah, I went and I bought one for myself because I thought, I just thought that I wanted to wait. Um, I, I don't know. I, I would I would say just listening to a lot of my um, male friends' story. I'm happy I waited. Yeah. I'm really happy I waited, and um, yeah, I, I don't. It's just a baggage, guys. You want to try and af- avoid as much of it as you can. I think so. You won't really be perfect, but if you can, um, just surround yourself with good people who mm-hmm. who communicate that kind of language. Because mm-hmm. in our culture today, it's really a lot of taste and buy. You want to taste everything. <laughs> taste and you buy. Know. It's true. Oh, it's true. Yes. And if you're in that kind of culture around more friends like that, then you're going to want to do what they're doing. Can't be, can't give you know, back. You're going to want to do more of what they're doing to not feel left out. And there, there's this fear of feeling like you, you're missing out on something. I don't if, think they have taste and buy in the American culture. Well, I, I think they get the concept. You want to yeah. taste the thing before you buy it. Yeah. You know? Um... And so you have this fear. I'm sorry, he was hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So you have this fear like you're missing out on something, Mm -hmm. you know. And the truth is you aren't because once you get into marriage, once you get married, 
it's all there waiting for you. Yeah. Like sex isn't going anywhere. That's so true. It's not running away. And you know what I think too? This is on the humorous side of it. When I think about like just some of the things that we've done over the years, you know, like from our honeymoon until now, mm-hmm. you, you're you going to miss out on those funny moments, those awkward moments mm-hmm. later on with your spouse because you explored so many things with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. But when both of you are just new to the game and then you're exploring things, in a couple of years, you're going to mm-hmm. laugh at just the ridiculous things that you did in the <laughs> beginning. So I think from that humorous standpoint... Wait. It's good for you to grow together, you know. Yeah. You don't have to feel like, oh my goodness, I have to go into marriage so experienced. No, you can grow with your spouse. Mm-hmm. Like both of you can learn at the same time. And mm-hmm. I think that's one of the things where people feel like you have to go in so experienced. No, right. it's like area that both of you should learn together. Right. Um, you know. Which then, because we did have this question on our Instagram page, um, I think it was last week or the week before, mm-hmm. and it was saying, is marriage a cornerstone mm. in your life or a capstone? capstone? Because if marriage is a cornerstone, then you know you can wait. Mm-hmm. But then if it's a capstone, like it's at the end of you your life, the end, right, yeah. then yeah. definitely you're going to try everything before you go into it, mm-hmm. because you know that this is it. And I think part of the, I guess, principle of it too is that if you're practicing all of these other things before marriage to Mm -hmm. experiment with it, then who is to say you're not going to, like you've opened the door to some stuff that you're going to bring inside the marriage. Right, right. Is that that fair to say? Right, right. So you you also have to be careful, like, the kind of things you get involved in before marriage because it, it could easily flow over into yeah. your marriage so five tips i don't know if five is too much but mm. five tips for guys on how they can wait what would you say i'd say number one it's important to have men in your life um whoever you surround yourself with mm-hmm. that they're thinking similar to you because if true. you're if you're in a group of four or five guys who you consider to be your best friend or close friend or whatever if if you believe in waiting in sex before marriage and they don't you're gonna give in to peer pressure over time or if they believe in sex before marriage and you don't well yeah yeah, yeah. so surround yourself with the right people mm-hmm. and don't worry about losing friends um you know some seasons different friendships are just not good for you that's true if they're not yeah. influencing in a positive way mm-hmm. um Five, That's I think one. To, uh, to have a mentor. Have it's a always mentor. important to have a mentor mm-hmm. who you can ask questions. Somebody who is ahead of you in the game, That's more experienced. Good, yeah. And you say like they're succeeding in that area of their life. Mm-hmm. Um, read good books. Read um, good there are books. always good books out there. Um, yeah. now read it, we'll one keep it busy. is Boy, <laughs> Boy Loves Girl by Joshua Harris. Actually, you know that guy... Boy meets the other, girl. The other day he said, you know, the book wasn't good or something like that. That guy actually just had a divorce. What? So I don't... Some okay. people say well, it's a good book. Well, you know book. what? The some book was helpful for book. me. Yeah. The book was helpful for me. So... Yeah. If he never thinks... Or like he's dating bad. goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. The book was helpful for me. So find a good book that uh, reinforces what you believe. Mm-hmm. Um... And, and um, four? Or is five four, too much? <laughs> let me see. Yeah, I, I think I can find one more. Um, let me see. What else was I doing? Um, just occupy yourself with occupy your with time, with yeah. good 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 work, good relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just occupy yourself. Don't don't become yeah. Um, what's and you were looking. I would say five for you yeah. is that you were looking at other people's lives oh, and yeah. the results. Definitely, of it. I was ob- Yeah, be observant. Yeah. That's a there good one. Go. Be observant because. You have to study people's life, their marriage and so forth, and see what works and what doesn't work. You don't have to figure out everything yeah. yourself. Other people out there... And not only that, I mean, in the sense of, as you said, with your brothers, like, mm-hmm. you looked at their mm-hmm. mistakes or exactly. their experiences exactly. and you didn't want that for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, if you are the first child, then <laughs> you might not have older <laughs> brothers to... But they have to older go, people But you have older people yeah. around you. So, yeah. so, yeah, I think those would be four to five things that you can um, do if you're... Four to five tips I could give to yeah. to women. I would definitely say the same thing about surrounding yourself with mm-hmm. good company. It's true. Like if people around you aren't waiting, you might not necessarily want to wait mm-hmm. just because of peer pressure. Exactly. Two, yeah, mind your own business. Like 
not in a bad way like just be about your business yes. keep yourself occupied yes. think about where your dreams your goals where you're going in life invest in yourself invest in yourself and just like have fun with i think people do need to learn to just have fun with being with themselves mm-hmm. you know falling in love mm-hmm. with themselves and not necessarily feeling like three yeah that marriage and sex is just gonna end mm-hmm. by this year exactly you know, it's not like it's gonna <laughs> run out by the end of the year like just being content and trusting that's right that you are gonna get to that place in life it's just not your time mate in the journey mm-hmm. and god is gonna bring that person I, trusting and if, believing if in I that can, is a good if i can thing. jump in on that is to say Sometimes you're just not ready. You need to Yay. work on yourself more because Yay. if you jump into the marriage or into the relationship before the marriage, you screw up because you're not prepared. Exactly. And that's so, part of the waiting process. That's part of the waiting process. Three, four, definitely, like you said, read books. Mm-hmm. Read books um, and be observant. Look at people's lives. Look at People will tell you those who've done it they will tell you mm-hmm. um what their experiences was some will tell you go ahead some will tell you to wait yeah. so talk to other people who've done it and hear what their experience is and yeah explore explore just i don't know what i'll tell you for five i, I want us to explore the world but people are already exploring the world mm-hmm. and that, i don't know i guess, if that's I guess un- understand i would say one of the things you could add is understand your strengths knowing who you are before you go into the marriage right which is kind of like saying that you know get to know yourself Mm -hmm. but yeah to wait i would say i did it make a commitment to yourself Mm -hmm. to wait i bought a promise ring it was probably like less than three dollars at the time when i bought it but buy yourself a promise ring and just make a commitment to yourself to wait if that's something that you want to and do. i waited so it is possible guys yeah it is possible and i waited doesn't mean it never came with different pressure because people was always saying when are you gonna get married exactly you know so exactly. there's always those questions of peer pressure like aren't you gonna get married and yeah. i'm like give me some time guys yeah. but overall <laughs> you know, I think we would say waiting is a wonderful thing to do. It is. Yeah. It is. So if you're thinking about it today, we're encouraging you to wait. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Well, until next time. One, one love. love.